Hey guys, um, I've had a request for a video about stem and leaf diagrams, and so I'm happy to do that. Uh, as always, if you have something that you'd like to see a video on, definitely let me know, and I'll be glad to do that. All right, so I have a set of ten numbers here, and we're going to put them into a stem and leaf diagram. With something like this, generally the last digit is going to be the leaf part, and the other digits to the left of it are going to be the stem. So we have two digit numbers uh, between 10 and 38. So our stems are going to go on the left hand side. They're going to be the numbers 1, 2, and 3. So we draw the line there. And then we go back and fill in the leaves. Now with the leaves, I generally just try to mark them off as I go so I can get them in order. So on that one stem, we're going to need to have the numbers 10, so I'll put a 0 down for the leaf, 11, 12, 14, and 18. Okay, oops, sorry about that. Okay, so we've just, rec we've just written down the numbers 10. 11, 12, 14, and 18. All right, moving to the next one, we want everything that starts with a 2, so we have 21 and 23. <coughs> okay, last stem is the 3 stem, so we want to write down the numbers 32, 35, and 38. So 32, 35, and 38. Get those last three numbers. Okay, now the cool thing with the stem and leaf diagram is once you have it put together, if you turn it the other direction, it sort of looks like a histogram. It gives you a graphical representation of which numbers, which categories happen most frequently. So obviously we have more of our numbers in the 10 to 19 range than almost as many in the 30 to 39 range and then less in the 20 to 29 range. And with any chart that you draw, it needs to have a title. Uh, now this one, we didn't give any context for the data, so we don't know what the data is. But uh, we would want to go back here and put in a title so that you knew what the information was for. So let's just pretend this is temperatures in February. That's pretty accurate. So we would want to come back and put a title on our data. So temperatures in February and also make sure that we have a unit on there if it's, that's appropriate. Because it is a chart, it's got to have a title. Alright, if you have any questions, let me know. Y'all take care.